I just got the inspiration to vlog again after like three something weeks of not having it and I'm so excited <laughs> I'm so excited to see you guys um, well new hair okay new hair if you follow me on TikTok you've probably already seen this hair um, but I'm so excited to just be excited to film <laughs> today is Wednesday um, it is actually the last week of my internship it's the last week of me being in New York and I'm so sad <laughs> I'm so sad about that. I love this city. The city has been nothing but wonderful to me. Um, and I'm so sad that over the last like three something weeks, I've just not been vlogging because of like a multitude of things. But we are back and I think I said it was Wednesday. It's actually Thursday. Um, and I don't have any work assignments. I'm gonna send some emails um, to the people I was working with just to let them say thank you, say goodbye, all the things. But today, mostly I'm focusing on moving out of this apartment. Um, and I figured I'll start vlogging today because I moved in with you guys. So you guys should see me move out. Um, my boyfriend's coming today. Um, he took the bar yesterday. Yesterday was his last day. And then he's coming um, later tonight to visit for the weekend until I leave August 1st and we are moving basically to brooklyn which should help because a lot of things that we have going on this weekend is in brooklyn just like everything i've had going on since i started going out is in brooklyn but i think that this is one of the times where having a car in new york would be helpful so i packed my stuff over there um, all my clothes and things like that and I just think that it would be smart for me to ship some stuff back to Durham so that my bag isn't over limit because I have been shopping since I've been here and I have more stuff <laughs> so I have this I have that and then I have this one right here that I need to ship back and I hope it's not gonna cost me too much but if my bag is overweight, that's like $150 per bag. So I feel like any cost around there, you know, should be okay. I just don't want to carry all the stuff because I have Grace Kelly to also carry who is sleeping right now. And yeah, so we're going to try to ship this bag. The UPS is close to me. It just sucks because I have to carry each one individually. <laughs> hotel ready to go to the departure reception it's technically like my second to last day of the summer associate which is kind of sad like um after this it is all either downhill or uphill from here depending on how you look at it but i'm all dressed my dress is technically a little bit too big for me i got it on amazon as i always do um Still looks nice, it's just a little bit too big, but it's gonna have to do for tonight. And I just can't get over my hair, you guys. Like, I always use this color. It's what, 227 or 127. I had it at the beginning of the last year, first semester, and I don't know, I was nervous to get it again for some reason. I don't know why, this is my color. This is me. <laughs> and one of the benefits of you know being in New York for the last two months and going to like parties like everyday people is that I've gotten so much better at doing my makeup <laughs> and being so so, so intentional with uh, doing my makeup. And I'm really proud of myself for that. But I'm just applying mousse. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut Freeze Free Curl Mousse, if you care at all. <laughs> This is it, um, and I'm just applying it to the ends specifically, and then I'm going to call my Uber and go. I'm a little bit late, but that's okay. I feel like people are going to be a little bit late to this thing too, but yeah, it should be a good time. I'll see you guys there. So you guys can see my, my makeup better here. Just like highlight, I don't know. I'm just proud. <laughs>
morning it is so hard so much harder than i thought it would be to get back into vlogging um, my boyfriend said it's like riding a bike but i don't know how to ride a bike so excuse me if i have not vlogged over like what yesterday what did i do yesterday i just went i expected it to be a day and i did start vlogging but it didn't turn out it was kind of a flop i went to the office turned in my things um got my offer which is exciting uh but after that it was just kind of like uh, but I did come back with my boyfriend and we like watched movies and just kind of like, laid in bed. He is like just finished his um, like taking the bar. Um, so he's tired and we're just sleeping. But today's going to be a fun day. I'm excited for my last weekend here in the city. Like I'm so excited. I want to make this as fun as possible. So today um, there is a day party happening. DJ Mike Nasty is going to be at a lot 45 in Brooklyn. Since I'm now like in Long Island City, it should not take too long to get there <laughs> compared to when I was in Manhattan. So I'm excited for that. We're gonna go there for a little bit. And then we have a show. I'm gonna go see my first Broadway show. You guys, I have not seen a Broadway show in New York at all. So we're gonna go see Wicked. And I think before Wicked, we're going to the Met because I have not been to the Met. Um, they're having like a date night, like wine thing at the Met every Friday and Saturday. So we're gonna go check that out for a little bit and then go to see Wicked and maybe something else afterwards. But I'm just excited. We're celebrating uh, my boyfriend being done with the bar. We're celebrating the offer and other things that I have going on. So welcome to this weekend. <laughs> We have a little balcony, but it's so loud because they're doing construction right now. But you can see the train go by over there and it's really nice. I saw it last night. It rained a little bit. Oh, it's doing it. There you go. It's really nice. I am really grateful for the opportunity to be in Long Island for the uh, Long Island City for the next couple of days until I leave because I'm still scoping out places to stay when I move next year. Um, so right now I've kind of narrowed it down <laughs> to like Brooklyn, somewhere that is not too far from like work, wherever mm -hmm. work is going to be, um, because that's kind of like up in the air at this point. Um, and, you know, I don't want to transfer too many trains that's the thing like maybe one transfer two two is two is doing a lot uh so somewhere in brooklyn because of the diversity somewhere in harlem because of the diversity and then long island city also is very diverse it's a lot quieter i think it's a lot cleaner from what i can see um and it smells better <laughs> so there are some positives to being in long island city i'm just excited to like check everything out and get my last glimpse of new york before i leave to check out DJ Mike Nasty set but we're way too early so we just walked around finding the thrift store and it is so incredibly like gentrified. I saw his t-shirt, there's a bunch of t-shirts for $60 at a thrift store, $60. But I am finding really cute things. They have a lot of like baby doll dresses to sleep and I ruined a lot of my other ones that I thrifted which is bad of me. Um, so I'm trying to re-up and look at this one, so pretty. It's giving gossip girl all the med steps. I stole that from you. Oh my god. <laughs> I loved it. There's so many people.
morning. If you guys can even hear me, it is very loud outside, but I'm enjoying being out on the balcony, starting my last day in New York with a view. <laughs> um, yesterday was literally so fun. First of all, I love Broadway shows. I should see more of them. Wicked was amazing. I didn't know the girl who played Glinda was black. But she's black. She doesn't look black. <laughs> From where we were sitting, um, I also wasn't wearing my glasses, so. But the show was absolutely fabulous and I loved every single second of it and I want to go to every single Broadway show now. But funnily enough, when we went to Lot 45, got into the party, I ran into the first girls I ever met when I um, went out alone in New York City for the first time. Um, it was at Midnight Bowl, another DJ Mike Nasty thing. And they just like walked in. That's the thing about New York. It's so big, but so small <laughs> at the same time. And I love that. At least now I love that. Um, so I was able to like see them and talk to them for a little bit. And I just like, it makes me want to post, repost the New York City like Big Law Diaries again. Cause I made so many good memories, but Oh, it was really nice to like see them and like talk to them. I hope I run into more people um, today at Everyday People who I met throughout my entire journey here in New York City because they really made the city uh, special for me, especially since I I was like alone here and at some point I felt kind of isolated, especially from people who look like me, um, and that caused me to have kind of a bit of anxiety at, at some at certain points over, especially the last month. Um, so I really hope that I run into them and get to talk to them because I don't think I would have loved the city as much as I do without running into them and them showing me kindness. So I love New York, <laughs> but that's not new. Um, it is the morning though. We're about to go have breakfast at Jackson's again. Um, I want a Jollof, but I don't want to go into Midtown to have it. Um, so we're going to go to Jackson's and then I think we're meeting somebody either before Everyday People or we're just going to go straight to Everyday People. My flight is early tomorrow, so I want to come back and pack because I sent some stuff back home. You guys saw that and I still, I'm very much overweight. Like my bags are overweight. I'm going to have to pay for that. And I just, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> We are in the city, um, about to go to Everyday People in like two ish hours. We're meeting some of my boyfriend's friends um, who took the bar too, so they can like talk about the bar because I can't comment. All I can say is it's horrible. Um, but I'm pre gaming at this Irish pub place. It's actually really nice, nice place in the city on Lexington, Lexington Avenue. It's like quiet. I'm really just looking at places that I would want to stay. <laughs> this is just me like scoping out places, but. Cheers to my last everyday people. <laughs> back in Durham <laughs> and as much as I love uh, concrete jungles where dreams are made of I was so happy to see the plane kind of like veer off into Raleigh and see all of the greenery I miss being surrounded by nature and that's definitely something I'm going to miss when I do move to New York next year that and my car we are gonna go get in my car and drive somewhere I'm so excited for that <laughs> But as you guys can see, if you've watched these videos or these channel for a while, I'm not in my apartment because this is what happened. I made tentative plans in my head, mental plans. Consider, keep in mind, I have ADHD, severe. <laughs> I made tentative plans mentally to go to my parents' house or to go somewhere like on vacation during the month of August. And in my head, I was gonna be leaving directly from New York City after my summer associate internship was done and go straight to either LA or anywhere else that I was going to decide to go to. Um, I completely forgot that I made those mental plans, right? And I let these people subletting my place stay, like agreed to let them stay until the 22nd of August. <laughs> So I do have plans to go on vacation. I'm going on a cruise, I'm going to Miami. Um, so I'm only going to be in this apartment, my friend's apartment until the 9th. But I just think that's really funny that I just, I texted these girls like, hey, 
hope you enjoyed your stay i'll be home at 10 a.m and they're like what are you talking about <laughs> it is working out for me very well weirdly enough that this has worked out this way because um one i get to save up on not paying rent for like the month so that's $1,300 saved. And I was planning on having like a, a rover sitter come and either stay with Grace Kelly full time or have Grace Kelly stay with them or visit their house for Grace Kelly while I was on vacation twice a day. So that was gonna cost me quite a pretty penny. And because the girls subleasing my place love cats, they're just going to be watching Grace Kelly um, for free. So. And my friend who I'm, who's a prime I'm staying at, she just left. She won't be back until the 10th and I don't need it until the 9th. So everything is really just like working out. I think it just, it was a little bit disappointing because I was hyping up being back in my apartment and back in my space with my decor and all the stuff. Um, but that's okay. I think that this works out a little bit better in terms of like money wise so it is august 1st by the way and before we go off on a drive probably to go get some food because i have not eaten since i woke up this morning um i have a meeting or a coffee chat with a partner at another law firm that i'm interested in so i think that is something that i have to like talk about a little bit um so i didn't go through oci on oci's on campus interviews um it basically is like speed dating for law firms you do it during the kind of right now i think they're doing it right in august and you usually do it for your 2l summer and like i've mentioned before your 2l summer is kind of you go there you do a great job you get the offer you return and that's supposed to be that um but i didn't go through that speed dating process so i feel like a lot of the things i thought i was looking for in a place i wanted to start my little career were a little bit too maybe idealistic or romanticized in a way or just not fully thought out or not complete there you go um so as i take my entire experience over the summer both the pros and the cons i am attempting to uh be sure that where i'm going is where i'm supposed to be um again i'm taking my full experience pros and cons and when you talk about the cons what people will ask you is it big law specific or is it firm specific right and i have a mixture of both and i think one more than the other so i'm attempting to look at firms that i am interested in either i was interested in, in them before i decided to pick this particular firm to summer at or i turned them down <laughs> to go to this specific firm or other firms that i did not apply to i did not have pre-oci offers to and i just like heard really good things um they have like a better like network in terms of having people to kind of support you or just better practice areas that i'm more interested in because i'm like i said before i'm like a first gen I kind of didn't even know big law existed until I uh, started law school and then what to do in big law um, has been <laughs> you know like the whole point of the summer was to figure that out um, so I feel like I'm a little bit closer to what I want to do and I want to make sure I'm doing that at the right place you know with the right people with the right culture because culture 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 is the most important thing um, from everything <laughs> culture right um and that's something i found to be really important over this past summer um so yeah i i'm just basically dating <laughs> which is why all the big law new york city diaries have been like taken down um they were taken down because i was able to show pros but not cons i can't show cons and as what I try to do on this channel is to be as transparent as possible. So if I feel like I can't ever balance out a situation, um, I'd rather you not see it at all because I don't think it's fully honest. Um, so I just took it down. Um, and I think, I don't think it's cute if I'm <laughs> dating to have like somebody else on my social media. Um, so that is what's going on right now. I'm going to be meeting them. I have some questions that I did not have before when I was like doing these pre-OCI interviews, um, mostly like two or three, um, mostly related to, you know, the recession is coming. So that's something that I'm concerned about. You know, some firms laid off a lot of their um, associates when COVID started. So that's like something I really want to make sure that they don't have a history of doing and how they're planning on handling it. Uh, I'm kind of striving to move away from like international work which is what i was drawn to in the other 
place um, and I want to focus more on I think I'm interested in securities litigation and also just corporate work uh, I'm thinking capital markets uh, maybe M&A but what I've seen of M&A this past summer I was not too <laughs> jazzed about um, and just uh, finance so banking um, financial uh, restructuring things like that so I just want to talk to partners about that I want to talk to them about their culture to see how they can explain that to me um, and I'm just going to make sure that I talk to as many people as possible so this is a long little section in the in the, in the vlog I'm sorry um, so partners they're going to be honest with you but what the people who you really want to talk to are the junior associates the, the first years the second years they're the ones who are basically kind of like in the trenches and they know what's going on because that's going to be my life in a year and they're more likely to be more honest less like on script less branded right um so that's i'm making sure that i'm talking to as many people as possible because i think that in the last uh pre-oci phase for the other place i talked to a couple people and i really liked their vibe but then when i came they were gone which is like kind of an issue um because I liked they they kind of drew me in that in the practice areas and everything like that they drew me in um, but when I came they were gone so I just want to make sure everything's good <laughs> the too long didn't listen part of this section is before I had mentioned all the positives of not doing OCI you know you save a lot of time um, and you kind of have like a guaranteed but I think it actually is better to have those pre-OCI offers and still do OCI because throughout the summer I've realized the benefits of being able to actually have um, kind of a vetting process and having all the firms essentially kind of lined up and talking to as many of them as possible to really get the the place where you fit in the most, the culture, the work, all of that stuff. But also if you're going to do POCI, it's um, better to be smarter than me probably <laughs> and um, be a lot more intentional and a lot more like careful with your questions, um, which can be difficult because if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, uh, but if you have goals, it's important to have goals of what you're looking for. But obviously, especially if you're like a first gen, especially if you didn't, you never been at a firm before, it's difficult to find that out, but there's always an option afterwards. So you're not stuck <laughs> at all, uh, but, definitely would now recommend OCI. <laughs> she has not been started in like a month. <laughs> let's see if I need to go to the... Oh, let's go. Let's go. Dude, songs in a car. I miss this so much. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I need to figure out how to bring my car to New York because this experience, it's so therapeutic. Enjoying the sun. <laughs> I just finished a little meeting with a partner at the same law firm from the one before, the little talk from before, um, because she's also a Duke grad. I reached out to her and she was gracious enough to have a meeting with me. Talked about the law firm, but we mostly just talked about my resume. She's kind of preparing me for an interview, which is really nice, um, making me aware because she's very active in recruiting, or exactly what they're looking for. And she had some pointers on things that I can work on in my resume. And I'm sharing just because I think it would be interesting for you guys to know. A lot of it had to do with adding more details, but before it was a lot more okay for me to not have as much details of what, what i was doing now that i'm entering 3l recruiting some things are more important than before uh, so adding more details on all the things that i've worked on especially at the prior law firm um, keeping in mind like confidentiality and not saying too much but saying just enough that the interviewers can get questions from what i've put down on my resume i also on her 
guidance, I was torn between two classes and we talked about my current class schedule because again, three hour recruiting, you have to be a little bit more sure about what you want to do. Um, so when, if I go back to the law firm I just interned at, I would be in the corporate pool. Um, but here, I also want to be doing corporate work and I have to be a little bit more intentional about that. Over this past summer, I could say litigation and corporate and that's what I did. I kind of split my summer 50-50 and then throughout the later parts of summer when I decided that I didn't want to do any more litigation work and wanted more corporate work, I was so swamped with litigation work that I could not hop off the assignments and get on other assignments. And honestly, I don't think I learned how to fully advocate for myself and advocate for the things that I wanted to um, until the last two to three weeks, which she said was a very valuable lesson <laughs> that every young attorney learns how to do and that I should communicate that in my interviews. Um, and I was telling her the two classes I was torn between, I had sexualities in the law and uh, corporate finance. And she said it was more important for me at this point um, to communicate effectively that I am interested in corporate work and have that uh, be seen, you know, not just orally by me telling people, but also visually by like my transcripts and the classes that I'm planning on taking. So I did drop sexualized in the law, which I'm kind of sad about. It sounds like a very fun class. Um, and I'm taking now uh, mergers and acquisitions, I'm taking corporate finance, copyright law, uh, use of force in international law, uh, sentencing and punishment, movement lawyering, race and immigration policy, and there is the business and economics of law firms that I'm like on the wait list for. So if I get on that, I'm gonna have to drop one of these classes, which is okay, I'm okay with that. It's just like my Monday, Wednesday schedule is all screwed up, and then my Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday schedule is all screwed up. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> I am really excited though. I think things are moving a little bit faster than I anticipated them to be moving, because as of right now, um, every law firm is kind of at the point where the law firm I just interned at is where they gave us all our offers and they're waiting to see what we're going to be interested in um and for most it seems that the corporate pool is where they're going to need people which is where I come in because that's what I want to do um so uh I wasn't expecting like responses so quickly but I'm glad I'm getting them I do have another meeting with a partner at another law firm that I'm dating <laughs> and that's at three it's currently 12 19 so I have like nothing to do um I'm just really excited because the the one that I'm talking to is the one that I'm really kind of gunning for I think that I would be I would function well there and grow uh, a lot more there um, and she said she was like uh, going to tell recruiting to talk to me so I do think an interview is coming very soon and I'm both nervous and like super excited for that. I mentioned earlier that I thought uh, an interview was coming my way with this firm that I'm really interested in and seven hours after my conversation it is here secured. <laughs> It is Miami time. Tell me why I got this drink. The flight boards now. <laughs> Can they put liquor in this? So I have to chug it, but we're officially on vacation. You guys are gonna have to receive this dress because <laughs> we are checked out of our hotel. We're currently still at the Moxie. I'm waiting for our check in at the cruise. Um, low key, my boyfriend just went to CVS to get us some stuff, and he's like better at this. Everyone's better at this drinking thing than I am. I was like, oh, I'm just really not in the mood right now. I'm gagging, like, <laughs> I'm legitimately gagging. I can't take it. Um, but Prosecco because the Moxie gives you Prosecco when you check in. Um, and we just have all of our stuff. It is hot, 
but I love Miami so much. It is one of my favorite places to be. And the music is always so fire, so fire. And the Uber, in the hotel, everywhere. It's just so good, I love it. I do wish that I could have gone to Bella Cuba, though. That is my favorite place to eat Cuban food here in Miami thus far, but we didn't have time for that and that's okay. Um, but cheers to vacation, cheers to cruise day. I'm so excited. <laughs> We have arrived! I'm gonna give you guys a room tour um, and it's more gonna be like me panning the room because I don't know what anything is so you can just see what it looks like. I think we have a typical like suite, right? A typical suite? Um, nothing... Terrace, terrace view. We have a terrace view um, but this is what it looks like. I'm just filming here. It's like a little desk area, little fridge, ice, water, but this is like the main the main attraction, the bed, all the lights. There's a tablet over there that you can use to switch off all the lights. Can I go outside? And that's what it looks like. We have not taken off yet or started sailing yet, but look at this. It's so pretty. I'm literally so excited. And then here's another view of the room from this corner over here. I think this is a lot better. And then here's the bathroom. That's me. And here's a little tiny shower. I like that it's an overhead shower, but that may be a problem with my braids. So, oh, they have this thing. Okay, I haven't been here yet, you guys. So I don't know what's what, but I'm just super excited to go sailing. We are exploring the ship right now um, before a little drill they have for safety, but this is one of the pool areas. Here's another little pool area on this corner. I just think it's so funny how we just boarded. We are the first group to board at 1.45. There are more coming. This is a big ship and or big yacht cruise. <laughs> and there's 30 people at the pool in their bikinis ordering drinks. I love it. I love the vibe. This is the little deck area. Again, we haven't left yet, so it's just Miami. I'm really so excited. I can't. This is ah, I'm on vacation. <laughs> Someone has found the basketball court and he's very happy. <laughs> Shoot over there. <laughs> I love this for us. I really do. And not too missing on camera. <laughs> the ball's heavy. <laughs> Boo. Okay, let me make sure I get it. In case you don't, go, go. Swish. <laughs> It is almost time for dinner. Um, this is what we're wearing today, just this dress. And then I have these white heels that you guys saw me wear a lot during the New York Big Law Summer Diaries. Um, today we're headed to, look how pretty that is, curls and this dress. I am so obsessed. Um, but we're going to the test kitchen today. I have no clue what kind of food that is, but we did check out the little food hall place on the cruise and it was so good. So I'm excited for that. I got some new rings too. I think I just ordered them from Amazon because um, they came really quick and I needed something cold on my other hand. I just feel like my hand is always so empty. Like this one has these two. These are also from Amazon um, and I just ordered some more. I have others. That's the thing with me. I lose them <laughs> quickly because they're not that expensive or they're not expensive at all. Um, but I have some more gold jewelry. Gold jewelry here. I just think gold jewelry on black skin. Stunning. But... This is the look. Brown and broad, just to combine together all the flavors. Test Kitchen was an experience. Here's what we had, because I really, honestly, they explained everything we had and I don't know. It's a basic. Um, and right now we have like the dessert, the chocolate dessert in front of us. I'm not gonna finish it because it's dark chocolate and I, I'm not a big fan. Uh, but it is good. And cocktails are also really good. Maybe you got on the wrong sheet. Maybe it was Damn, bad, uh, bad. Oh, God. Uh, Finally. Hey, you, your money, you know that. No, like. Yeah, boy. It's fun. 
Might as well spend that. Might as well put that right back in. I don't understand how we lost $20. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> we are attempting to gamble. And we put $20 in the machine, lost it in two minutes. <laughs> it was less than two minutes. I don't understand. Why do people do this? And now we have 15 cents on our ticket voucher. We're trying to find a place to spend it. And I don't know if we can. I don't want to put any more money in this. We have docked on our first location. First stop of the cruise, that's Key West. Are they gonna wave back? Let me know if they wave back. He's waving at people outside of our deck. Uh, but today we have parasailing literally at 9.45. It was scheduled for 11 p.m. but I have my interview with this firm that I'm trying to hop over to on to because that's what I'm trying to do um, so I have like a full round of interviews starting at 3 p.m. and we just didn't want to rush the parasailing rush like the lunch and the exploring just rather do it in the morning come back on the boat I do my interview things maybe he rests or goes to the gym or something like that and then we go out and do something else later but I'm really so excited um, last night there was a band playing like afro beats and it was so good it was so good. It was like acoustic, um, whiz kid. I, we love whiz kid. <laughs> we love whiz kid on this couple or in this couple. We love it. Um, and they were so good. Um, and we just walked around. I really like this experience. I like the cruise. I do think every hour or so, like, huh, I don't know how to swim. But <laughs> I think the experience overall is really nice. Um, the service is great. The food is really good. And all the employees kind of want you to have a good time and they encourage you to have a good time so uh, i think it's going to be a really fun trip everybody's really nice <laughs> i don't like all the couples all the people on the boat so friendly so nice i as of right now i would recommend it i'm like trying to be not trying to be but i did contact the virgin island before or virgin cruise before to let them know that i would wanted to like maybe work with them and they were like well our things are full for august but if you guys want to go in october but obviously this is also like his bar trip and i have school <laughs> i have school in two weeks so that couldn't work so but i would have loved to like have created content because this is a beautiful boat and so far i know it's only been one day but i'm having a really good time our breakfast is supposed to be here at 8 30 we ordered like room service breakfast last night which is another cool thing and we got water at 4 30 in the morning and someone came we didn't know if they were gonna come or not because it's like it's 4 30 and someone showed up and brought us water and ice and just ah, ah, love the service we hate to see it oh, this guy's wow. trying to influence people hypocrite. yeah i am a hypocrite the best part of yesterday was when they did the influencer thing and everyone looked at you and pointed. They did what? <laughs> no, they didn't. You know what I mean? Put an influencer? Oh, yeah. And you thought they were talking about you. I did. The oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> you were so, terrified. Okay, so yesterday at the little show thing, I think it was a commentary on my social media or something, but I could not understand what was truly happening um, because of the way the show was and how loud it was. I definitely enjoyed it. My ADHD brain loved it. Lots of colors. Love it. Uh, but at one point they had like they were calling out like certain people who were um, I don't know but they just pointed to the thing and they said social media influencer right but I was right under the sign and I thought they were talking about me and I was like how did these people know me <laughs> but they weren't it was a girl like right on top of the sign uh, but that is what happened I was actually really scared I was like <laughs> something calling me out I'm on vacation uh,
just overwhelms everything. Use your you cart. Don't, you don't eat bananas. It's not okay. You put a banana in a smoothie and you just have so a, a, banana. a banana. It's just, just a banana smoothie. Just you hate bananas. It's not that I hate it. It just overwhelms everything. You're anti banana. I'm not anti banana. So let me live my banana eating life. <laughs> but walking down the hall, it just smells like <laughs> banana. Potassium is important. <laughs> I'm about to take a nap because I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. I've been up for a while. <laughs> Okay, it is a little bit later now. Um, I have my interview. It is going to take me about an hour and 40 minutes from 3 p.m. to 4.40 p.m. I'm talking to five people um, for 20 minutes each, and I think I get 10, nope, I don't actually get 10 minutes between <laughs> each session. It's kind of just back to back to back. Um, and I wanted to explain this process a little bit. I'm not sure if I did what I interviewed for the firm that I was interning at this past summer, um, but essentially this is how the rounds go. They're very long. You're talking for quite some time and you they try to make sure you meet a variety of attorneys. Usually they'll try to throw in someone who is part of the affinity group if you click that. So like the black affinity group, they'll throw in like like um, people from your school, from your law school. So I have a couple people here who either went to Duke Law or they went to just Duke in general, um, just so you can kind of have that uh, thing to connect over. Um, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. I have not interviewed in quite some time, <laughs> quite some time actually, but my main technique usually, or my main thing that I do in interviews is I try to be as honest as possible. I don't believe in memorizing things i do believe in having your key points down and then um just speaking authentically especially right now when i'm really trying to find a place where i feel that i truly like belong in i think it's very important for me to be honest and ask important questions while also you know being professional and you know making sure that they know <laughs> that i want this position um but I guess I'm trying to make it like a mutual process here and not just me being scared and saying whatever I feel like I need to say because I want to get the offer. I already have an offer, right? And I do want this one, uh, but this is very important for me. Authenticity and making sure that where I'm going is exactly where I want to be to begin my legal career. That's so important. And I'm going to actually let them know that. <laughs> um, but I'm going to start the interview and then afterwards we are going to the pool and then we have dinner at one of the fancier little places. Well, all the places here are fancy, but we have dinner. <laughs> no cap they had a scarlet party which we weren't aware of it because once you book it and it's like fully booked they take it off of like their menu so we didn't see it and people were like wearing red we just went anyway and it was really fun they had like performers um dancers people we got in the pool at some point um i didn't want to get too wet because afterwards we went to a nightclub and we decided not to involve y'all in the rest of that activity <laughs> um just like an us thing it's just so fun i understand why people like cruises now i never really got why some people are just very like cruise people uh but now i do uh but today we have uh we're going jet skiing in about an hour and 30 minutes right
right now I'm just trying to explore the boat a little bit more because I realized doing it later in the evening after we've done all our excursions is just not enough. This is a big ass boat and when I was looking up like this boat on TikTok, I saw so many other things that I have not seen yet. So I'm trying to walk around before we do excursions just to see. This very moment, I'm attempting to find um, the little nail salon. There's a nail shop here. There's like a little white. There's a wellness center, and I'm trying to find that. So let's see. I'm probably gonna get lost. I like switched it into that. Uh, we are on Bimini, Bimini Beach. Unfortunately, we have missed our excursion time. Uh, we were late. <laughs> we have to sign up for a later time at two. Um, and it wasn't okay. Was it our fault? No. I'll say no. A little bit. A little bit of it. Okay. Yeah, contributory negligence. A little bit of it was our fault, but a lot of it was because when you get here to get to Fisherman's Village where the jet ski is taking place, you have to get on these little trolley cars, but the trolley car does not stop here and there's no way to get on the one that goes, ugh, comes directly to Fisherman's Island. You have to go completely around to see all of the excursions first. So we're just like sitting on this little thing, bopping about, and then we're late. <laughs> and there's a lady over there going off about that. She's gonna talk to Sailor Services. <laughs> I think right now we're just gonna go to the beach club, relax, get a drink, and wait until it's time for us to do our little jet ski. What is that? I don't know, it's slimy though. <laughs> I'm currently giving myself another pedicure uh, because my <laughs> press on nails popped off when we were jet skiing. Um, we actually drove onto some land, like a patch of land that was there, and had to like get off and like push the jet ski. <laughs> you guys know I don't know how to swim, so it was very scary. Um, and just the entire experience, very fun but also terrifying. I wasn't aware that you could hit hair. <laughs> every time you hit like really big waves so we caught air on one and i tell you i'm i'm a land creature like i really i love land so much like land is lit this ocean thing is not for me but it was a fun experience i did just change um into this little white dress moment i'm obsessed with it hold on i'm gonna show you the whole thing here we are look at this dress i have my bikini from i believe this is dip and daisy um and then i just bought this white dress long sleeves it's just giving very beach club and i was a little bit like disappointed that when we went into the beach club just now i had my other outfit on but there is a fire show or fire something happening at the beach club tonight at 6 p.m uh, we had dinner reservations at 6 so we moved it to 9 p.m so we could go and attend and i'm gonna get to have my little beach club white dress moment <laughs> They have multiple, uh, but this is where you do your nails. And someone's already getting their nails done. I kind of wish I was getting my nails done, but I already did it before I came on the trip. A look. Good morning, everybody. 
everybody today is the last day on the boat i'm actually surprised that i'm up right now it's noon granted uh but yesterday we did not go to sleep until 4 35 a.m we just kind of kept the night going <laughs> um what did i show you guys last i don't even remember my brain is fogged uh but they had a little dance club thing and we went to that for a little bit um and we just ended up like walking around we wanted to listen to this musicians that play afro beats <laughs> um i think the first nights we caught their last song we wanted to catch them again but ended up canceling the last show that we were booked for so we're going to go see them today later tonight about 10 p.m but we just went played some hoops we hopped into the jacuzzi and we were just having a very good and blessed time to be honest we started talking we watched the truman show because i need i didn't see that before which is what kept us up um and i loved it i loved the show i loved the concept but today we are at sea um we actually googled <laughs> so i don't really understand how cruises like work right like how do they pick the the way that the the boat goes and i didn't i don't know i just think i thought that we were going a lot farther than we were so we looked at the map and miami is literally like an hour away <laughs> so we're like why did this take three days but someone in bimini actually was like well do they have a casino on board yeah they just want you to spend money so i do think that today being an at sea day is like spend as much money as you can on board which i probably will we used to have a drink tab that we put way too much money in about 300 dollars, and it gave us an extra 100 dollars um when you put 300 um and we're trying to spend that but um we're kind of done on the alcohol to be honest. we're done off we're done off of that cool off of that so we'll see what happens but we're just chilling i think we're gonna go at some point um near one of the pools or like lounge areas and hang out read right now i'm just watching gladiator in the room i'm gonna eat some sushi and just like relax here but just having a nice time um this isn't really like a content trip which is i don't know you may notice if you've watched me vlog my vacations before it is very much a vacation a vacation and after this we will be going to texas for a week and then afterwards i start school he starts work and he's in texas and i'm in durham so we won't see each other again until like for a month and a half so this is like very important for us <laughs> also another thing that kept us up last night we realized when we were at gung bay the little korean barbecue place that we could order room service and it's 24 7 and you can order everything <laughs> here's our damage from last night we ordered literally all of the entrees and um all of the desserts and just literally pigged out in here it was great but look at this oh, this little place you can click on this i'm trying to put it into movie theater mode it shuts off the blinds turns off the lights and then you just get to watch the movie
morning. <laughs> I know I'm wearing my New York shirt, but you guys, I am in Texas. I wish I had my uh, my little cowboy hat. I bought two um, for this trip, but I am in Texas. We'll be in Texas for um, this week. Definitely need a vacation from the cruise. <laughs> the cruise was fabulous, and we are planning on going on another cruise. Virgin Voyages just does everything you needed to do. You guys need to go on a cruise if you need any racks that discarded lady but i am staying at the campus hotel this is actually my first hotel sponsorship ever and i'm so excited to be filming for them it's not for youtube it's going to be for instagram or tiktok um that's what my guidelines are for uh, but i'm just like so excited i usually never reach out to hotels it's just the first hotel i've ever reached out to um because i just i don't know i hate being like hey can i stay at your place for free uh but you know yeah, those those funds we gotta make sure those funds last until next summer because next summer i will not be working i will not be making any money and um i need to make sure they last okay uh, but we got here last night like 11 30. i don't think we have any plans or like itinerary or anything you guys like like i said before this is really our time before we separate for another month and a half we're going to be meeting up again in october um so we're just trying to chill and relax i start school next monday and y'all my schedule is messed up like it's so messed up right now you guys know i like to do classes twice a week okay and i've been very blessed to be able to do that for all the entirety of last year mm -hmm. this year my schedule started off good and then i just kept getting more effed up and i can't complain too badly because a lot of the classes i ended up adding or you know or like corporate classes or classes that are going to be very important to me because now that i've finally finally decided like finalized my decision of doing corporate work when i get to big law um i want to take classes that are going to help me get some sort of understanding um so yeah i had to like drop some fun classes <laughs> i'm just like uh, uh, but yeah it's just going to be a very like relaxing time i'm just walking around right now it's like eight it's not it's nine i'm walking around i'm taking some content of the place since nobody's here yet i think it's a good time to do that um and i'm just so excited to be working with this with this hotel and i'm thinking about working with brands for my president ship season um for the women of color collective at duke so if any brands is watching this especially if you are a black owned business especially if you're a woman of color who has a business and you want to um work with us that would be great i think it would be fantastic and i was sending some emails this morning um for woke as it goes and i'm just trying to figure out which black owned businesses i want to reach out to to see if they want to sponsor some event for my group i think it would be a cute little thing okay and put woke really on the map on campus because we don't really have that much of a presence Stockyards. I have such a hard time saying that. Um, but we came to see the cattle drive. Probably missed the cattle drive because it took forever to get ready, and then changed last minute, which made everything just worthless. But we're here, and I didn't know it was like a little touristy thing. So I have my cowboy hat on, and I'm exploring. Came from Dallas, yes. That is East Dallas. <laughs> it's a cool little thing. I don't know if you can spin it. Not Ford. Ford. Jesus. <laughs> Tongue twister. Ford. 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 <laughs> He's a big one. He's about 1,700 pounds. 1,700 pounds? Wow. Y'all, look at these beautiful ass cowgirl boots, okay? I know I've seen them on Amazon before, but I didn't know that the actual boots were so expensive. This is $700. <laughs> this is a $700 pair of cowgirl boots. Like, compared to the one over there, this one's affordable, but still, like, $300. $300. Look how pretty. You want to make your face worse? This is beautiful. Look at that price for me. Yeah, you see it? 
It's a thousand dollars. This is this is a rack. <laughs> It's a rack. Breaking news, everybody. Being a t being a cowboy is hard and expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. It's Wow. It's actually it's actually good. Good for us. Wow. Look, it's clout. Actually, Ooh, there it goes. <laughs> I am at finish line trying to buy sneakers, right? I've never actually had sneakers, but I really want to get into it. I want to have my little basic starter pack and we went to finish line. We're at finish line, went to Nike first. And I just realized sneaker stores are so sexist. <laughs> like the women's section for shoes is connected to the kids section. But all around the store are just men's shoes. And the same thing at Nike. Jokes on them though. I was ready to drop a rack, whatever. <laughs> Online shopping it is. I am trying on these shoes though. Um, I have the Converse already, so I want these ones, but I can't justify buying these because I have the white Converse and I already don't wear them. <laughs> and the only difference is this thing in the back, right? Which is just not enough. But right here, it's overwhelmingly <laughs> there that it makes it look different. Kind of looks like, I don't know, a dinosaur. back to Durham everybody as I already have pimple patches on <laughs> um, it is currently Sunday um, the last day I will be vlogging and the one and only day I gave myself to prepare for the semester my final year the final season of the was it the law school oh my god I even forgot the title of my series look at that We've been a little, we've been away for too long, but it's the last season of the law school diaries, right? Um, I just woke up and I was sleeping a little too comfortably. You know when you're on your period and you're asleep and you're just like, the sleep is kind of hitting a little too much and I haven't gotten up in a while. Anyway, now I'm doing this, so I can't even complain too much. The sleep was good, the sleep was good. Uh, but today, like I said, and Grace Kelly's here. <laughs> like I said, today is Sunday. Last night I came in around 1.30 a.m. and I just unpacked completely. I had a, a subletter in my apartment since I started my internship over the summer, which is good, like rent-wise, but it meant I had to move back in. I tried to vlog it, but I realized it was taking me too long to vlog it and also get it done, which is not good because I needed to get it done. I actually stayed up till 6 a.m. I did not go to sleep until 6 a.m. Um, to unpack everything. But I'm really glad I did because I wanted to wake up and made myself feel like I was just waking up to do my readings for the day because I do need to do that too. But I just unpacked some clothes. I have a lot of clothes in my car that needs to be uh, given to the thrift store because honestly, because they were just in my car for the majority of the time that I was away for two months, I feel like I don't need them as much. Obviously, my sweaters are going to stay until it gets cold and I 
look at what I wear, what I don't wear. But like a lot of my dresses are gone. A lot of like the shirt things I had right here are gone. Um, my shoes are the same. And here's my new pair of sneakers you guys saw me buy in Dallas. I'm obsessed with them. They're so pretty. I'm going to wear them tomorrow for the first day of school. Um, I already kind of have like an outfit in mind. I'm excited for that. And then tell me why I forgot that I had a little Prada bag. I was just there. Like it was in its box, but the box is black. And I had it like laying here on top of my Gucci box for my Gucci belt. Um, and it was just there. But I have my Teflor up there. I'm going to put the black Teflor up there. Um, and my little Prada bag. Ooh. What happened to my, huh, good question. Where is my Fendi bag? And I found it. <laughs> that would not have been cute of me to leave that behind. Here you go, mama. Here is, uh, and she's falling. And she doesn't know what to do. She's empty. Uh, <laughs> I need to put something in this bag. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you just go ahead and you rest. These clothes right here needs to be like returned or given to the thrift store. And then I have clothes in the washer that I need to just start. Um, and, and a lot of my clothes are here too. And then my little whiteboard, I'm starting a whole fitness thing again. So I'm ready to get back to being consistent. I also need to kind of, I think I may cut for a little bit for maybe a month, a very healthy cut. Who may not know what that means it essentially means i will be going on a little bit of a diet for a little bit um so trigger warning for slight diet talk um i obviously have been very 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 relaxed this summer and that is completely okay with me i went to the gym a couple times not that much i'm not okay with that um but you know the fancy firm dinners and well, i mean not firm dinners we do not get firm dinners um firm <laughs> lunches and just kind of having like a lot of snacks available to me all of the time um firm dinners when i was working late and could get it for free um and just kind of like the cruise miami you know dallas all of that's kind of like catching up so your girl your girl needs to kind of she needs to get back to the way things were a little bit i did put on a little bit of weight i'm pretty sure like five to six seven pounds i'm okay with it it went to my butt the majority of that which is good <laughs> it just means I have a lot more back pain, which I don't necessarily love. So I just want to get back to being consistent and seeing what happens with that. Um, when I do cut, I do it healthily. I do it like I calculate all of my like calories and stuff. I don't do dramatic cuts and I don't stay on cuts for too long because I have a history of having uh, eating disorders. So I can't, <laughs> I can't be, I can't be doing things for too long. Okay. I gotta, I, I will stop. But today, even though I was woken up by force from my body being like, hey, you are bleeding on your very expensive mattress. Um, I'm glad to be up. I think it's about 8 a.m. Uh, what we're going to do first, I'm going to start this washer, get that going, um, fold my clothes by the end of tonight. I have readings to do two classes tomorrow, corporate finance and copyright law. I low-key want to drop one of those, to be honest, and I'm more inclined to drop the 8 a.m class which is copyright law but i'm also interested in copyright law um so that we'll see i'll read for both um for this week and see how it goes um so we need to read for class um i think i'm going to start this probably go to the store and get my grocery shopping done for the week because like i said we're going back to being good and not good you know let me not say that we're going back to kind of being on a routine and I need to get some food in my house before I start ordering out because I've gotten used to that. Um, after that, just clean up the house a little bit more, do my readings, and then see where the day takes us. That should probably be all day. As soon as I sit down to read, it's gonna... I haven't read in a very long time. In a very long time. My brain is not how it used to be. It's gonna take a while to rev it, but... Let's get the day started. <laughs>